Good morning, church. Today is Friday, the uh, 4th of uh, February, 2022. It took me a minute there to um, to get myself together. I was just pissed off a few minutes ago. Um, I went into my storage to um, organize some things and noticed that some things were missing. The police department in MacArthur and Franklin are going in and out of my storage. I'm being stalked by black Americans. And um, as soon as I black out on trains, buses, um, they're taking off my shoes and shoving needles under my heel, my left heel. Or they're giving me oral sex. Or they're leaving me hard. Um, I haven't been sleeping at night. I've been roaming the streets. Um, every time I go to pitch my tent, the Lord is telling me not to pitch the tent. There's a group that wants to take my breath, that wants to take my life. The money, the social security disability money that I've been saving up for a, 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 a well, not trailer, but a mobile home, um, since I can't go back into housing. If I go back into housing, um, it's a repeat of Gretchen Kafori Commons. These people coming in and out of the apartment, okay? So they figured out a way to keep me outside, okay? So um, to save the money in the bank, and now they're just, it's just a matter of time for them to take me out and take the money, okay? Whatever money I've saved up. Um, I'm no Donald Trump. I don't have billions in the bank. What little I have is because now for the last five years, it's social security disability, not my job, where I actually went and, and looked for a job, got a job, and um, saved my money like I used to when I was in uh, high school, college, and seminary. They are deliberately removing my independence from me the same way they're doing it to the Haitians that are um, on the island. These European, British, Americans are doing it on purpose. And this is coming out of MacArthur and out of the Clinton administration. They've been doing this for over 24 years. The, the supposedly dead president that's down there, uh, Jovenel Moise, is not by coincidence. So what we gain as independents, as Haitians, they've removed. They have destroyed our country. They have destroyed our lives. Uh, I know my life is completely destroyed. Uh, they've taken everything and they've basically oppressed me. I, I go up to the police department when the Lord sends me and I give a report, not to a police officer, but to a desk clerk, okay? The police department and their officers will not come to take a police report. As many police reports that I should have um, gotten, I'm not getting anything. And furthermore, um, there are people being uh, declared as dead. Just recently, they had a guy named Mike stabbed to death. Somehow or another, they read into the name Mike and I'm, they're, they're, it's not straightforward, but they sent me a, a six group uh, a clan to indirectly give me a warning. Um, when I try to pick up cans, now when I pick up cans, I'm picking up clan. So they're reading, they're reading themselves into my life. Um, the biblical context that I used to live in um, when I was in college and seminary, um, where it was just predominantly the church, or I thought it was the church, uh, is gone. Okay, I'm still in that context, but them, they're reading, they're sending third person, fourth person parties, lookalikes, and wherever I'm at, I'm supposed to understand that this is, this is the new level of communication. In other words, we don't have to come out anymore, um, and we'll just talk to you, you know, through intercom, and we'll talk to you, you know, through the background. I mean, you know, it's all surface, you know, all surface. And, uh, um, I, I, you know, it's not going to work. The, the bus is here, so I have to cut it short. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.